Hey guys, Midnight Range TM here. Uh, thanks for visiting the channel. I just wanted to do a little quick video here. While I'm sitting here waiting to do my live stream um, about one of my favorite guns. Um, a lot of people ask me, you know, what my favorite gun is, and a lot of people do know that I like this one because I like the 8mm so much. It was one of the first, it's the first rifle that I reloaded for. It is a G9840, okay? It is sporterized, unfortunately. You know, the barrel would normally come all the way out. <clears throat> and it does have a scout mount um, scope on it, which isn't, obviously, isn't traditional or uh, correct. But other than that, um, you know, all the parts are here for the most part. Um, not matching or anything cool like that, but um, <clears throat> it is a really, really neat piece of history. It was made in 1943 um, and the, in the FEG factory uh, in Hungary, okay? Um, so, the, um, basically the... The Hungarians took the um, M43 uh, rifle, <clears throat> and it was reworked um, to uh, to accept uh, to to have an internal magazine, and it was um, uh, turned into an eight millimeter for the Mauser, eight millimeter Mauser. Um, <clears throat> this was all done after the Nazis took over Hungary. Basically, the Nazis took over. And they said, uh, the M43 is a really nice rifle. Nice rifle. I think you should make those for us. <clears throat> so, um, they basically, uh, took it, made a very, very good weapon. The, it is pretty common to, uh, for some of these rifles to not be, um, totally matching. Uh, they were thrown together pretty hastily, um, stories go that they were made <clears throat> the Germans would bring in um, uh, rifle parts and um, people were putting them together for them in basements and living rooms um, so some parts did get mismatched um, so uh, you know that's kind of a shame if you you know you could have an original that was not correct to begin with but um, there are a lot, there are originals out there, and they're, they they go for a good bit of money because they're 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 not uh, they're not super common. <clears throat> One of the things that really made me think about this rifle lately is everything that is um, going on right now with the Second Amendment, um, the uh, the possibility of a lot of the rights that we know and love leaving us <clears throat> so take this rifle g9840 made in 1943 made in a country that could not defend itself uh, made in a country that was <clears throat> taken over by a bully um, made in a country that was taken over by a tyrant so we're gonna fast forward 75 years <clears throat> PSA AR-15, 30 round attachable mag, Magpul stock, Magpul furniture, nice little red dot on there, okay, at the time, the Hungarians could not defend themselves against the, Ger the, the Germans, against the Nazis, against Hitler, we don't want to lose our ability to defend ourselves. I just thought that was a good little food for thought. <clears throat> Something I was thinking of today and recently with everything going on. <clears throat> so, uh, hopefully it uh, makes you think a little bit too. Um, we do not want, uh, we do not want violent. You know, we do not want people to die. We don't want people killed. We, as uh, <clears throat> pro-Second Amendment people, we want peace just like everybody else. Um, but if we, as pro-Second Amendment people, decide that we need something to defend our peace, then I believe that we should have the right to do that. So, thanks for visiting the channel. Leave some comments underneath. Uh, and uh, I hope to see you next time. Um, Come and uh, we do live stream Sunday, <clears throat> 10.30 Eastern.
uh, food and food and guns, question and answer. Have some good topics. Have some good uh, good some good people in the panel. Um, I hope to see you there, and uh, have a great night.